is Saris Knight. And Lances. And Ixion. You didn't give me the Black Dynamite-esque Saris Knight <laughs> intro this time, man. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> we, we kind of flubbed this because uh, emulators, you know how they are. Yeah. So we had to... I actually, this the entire first opening scene got cut out, <laughs> and I had to describe it for me, the audience. Me and you I took turns like describing all the... the accurately, mind you. Ac very accurately. <laughs> Like, in fact, when the explosion went off, I'm like, and then she aimed her gun, and? And then she went <laughs> yeah. the, boom. It was just well-timed. Oh, but, so by the way, this is um, this is the fifth game now in our series, according to, Chronological know, release. So this is uh, Resident Evil Code Bronco X, and we're playing the GameCube emulator version, but... Because the GameCube emulator, or the GameCube uh, console, pretty much has every Resident Evil game on it. So it's it's a pretty. I don't have to mess with other emulators. Well, the essential Aries, I would uh, say. Until Resident Evil Five. Right. So, and uh, this is, I think this is Lance's favorite game out of the entire series. It, it period. really is. Uh, for X, you still say Re Two is better. Re Two is better. Or remake is better. Resident Evil Four is better. And I'm very close to that. Code Veronica is my third favorite, I believe, tied right with RE2. And RE Remake and RE4 are the only two games I like better than this. So, we're, we're doing pretty good. Between uh, Resident Evil Survivor, which we recorded earlier today... Yeah, we had to we had to do something to wash, you know, away the bad taste of... So, yeah, since then we had some good old-fashioned barbecue that Ix cooked up that was really good. Ix, you the culinary man. We then played some uh, Munchkin... Then uh, we read the uh, first volume of the Dark Horse edition of Axe Cop, which was amazing. And uh, at least me and me and SK here got our drink on. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of trying to get a buzz after playing Survivor. You know, yeah, I want to I want to kind of enjoy this game in a special way now. Yeah, we were to, yeah, and then Claire runs along the adjacent hall and a helicopter follows her and just can't quite catch up. Right. And so, chick chack. I, I, it's it's too bad because I think us narrating that just perfectly white screen was actually really funny. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, uh, how do you do this? It's just yeah. This you know, when the guys were making RE6, did they like see this and said, you know what? Well, we need to, like, amplify that by a hundred times. It, it's funny you mention that, because when we were first messing around with the emulation getting this ready, Ix mentioned that uh, this is the first time in the Resident Evil franchise where they really went super action-y. Cute butt, Claire. I just, so, got, a, I just got a glimpse of it, so... Wood. So, wood. <laughs> me, me and Ix do the thing, like, we'll watch anime, and every time we see someone that's hot, we'd be like, Wood! <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> and there have been there's like these stipulations where you know you know how in anime some dudes kind of like chicks are like don't know if I would gotta find out first <laughs> don't know and they'll be like yeah she said oh what 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 or it'd be like yeah he said nope 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 would, would not, not do would not do would not do yeah that must have been really uncomfortable sleeping on stone concrete <laughs> wait is there such a thing as stone concrete. Uh, stone is involved in making concrete. It's redundant, but you could say it. Okay. But yeah, this is like... Was the there such game. a thing as velvet concrete? No. Yeah. Yeah, this is when they got that little taste of, let's make Ari an action game instead of... Yeah. But this no, definitely... No, that's, that's just for the cutscene. That's scenes. really just that yeah. cutscene. So, so it's acceptable here... Because it still retains all well, the survival horror. Well, okay, th that that first cutscene and the fact that Claire survived like a couple of axes straight to the back, wielded by a giant monster, and she cured it easily with first aid spray. But other than that, other than that, like I'm saying, maybe the axe just barely nicked her. <laughs> yeah, it's just grazing against them lips. I I think they really wanted to show off the power of the Dreamcast. Honestly, I'm really excited that we're playing this game because. Uh, I, my fondest Resident Evil memories come from this game. Yeah, I that, our first hangout playing this game for the first time. It's like we were staying up all night trying to solve that last puzzle, and it was like, wait, this isn't the end of the game. It's just the first half. Yeah. Crap, there's more Resident Evil gonna happen. Okay, guys, we gotta so we gotta go to sleep for a few hours, <laughs> and then, you know, take it because it was already like 6 yeah. in the morning. But to elaborate, it was me, SK, and actually one of the original team members we had working on us for Ark Aerith, uh, who was uh, Sing Yoon as was his online handle, but uh, he was our friend Adam, right? Uh, by the way, the sounds 
catch in a little bit, but... Oh, it is a little bit. I, I think it's tolerable. For now. Well, we've already started, so we really can't. Yeah. Perfect! And yeah, well, what I said the first time before we had to... We had to forego it and fix the emulator was like... There's something just... I get this epic feeling from this game. I, I, I can't really describe it other than the major plot point of Wesker coming back and we're like, Whoa! <laughs> well, no, you were like, Whoa. I was like, Wesker, where have you been? <laughs> but, uh, it was yeah. like, we all thought he was just some stupid bad guy now, that would never... To put this in perspective, the Resident Evil franchise has been out for a long time now. We haven't seen Wesker since RE1. The fact that he comes back was huge, right? He goes, it goes from thinking that he just, like, idiotically died. Yeah, you know, day. just sit there and brags and lets a tyrant stab him in the back while he's doing it. To as be you, a, and it turns out he's actually one of the baddest mofos. He had that crap planned. I think he provoked the tyrant no. into stabbing him, didn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Before the tyrant stabbed him, he injected himself with T-Virus. Right. Now, remember, he knows that he was raised by Spencer for the sole purpose of being able to adapt to the seed. To the T virus, excuse me. So he knew before stat injecting himself that it would be possible that he would be able to take that and become more powerful. He knew that could happen. He didn't know for sure. And you know what? Now that I think about it, that takes even more balls than I thought he had. Well, you know, Spencer had a bunch of. I'm sorry, I keep thinking start goes to the menu. Uh, sorry, you were but, saying. But you know, uh, Spencer had a bunch of children. Like, there was a bunch of uh, Wesker children. They all had the last name Wesker. Albert was the only one out of that entire batch who was actually able to survive and adapt to the T-Virus. So, see, and uh, when we get into Resident Evil 6, I've got a lot to say about that. Oh, no. Because it seems like so much hinges around Wesker as, like, the ultimate bad guy, that's why I think I would have been fine if they stopped at Resident Evil 5. It's the end of him that was probably the most crucial time Look. in the world in terms of like how the world was in imminent danger. And he Wesker, like the ultimate bad guy in the series, was killed, defeated, he's gone. Why do we still have crap going on, especially if you're just gonna turn it to an action flick? Right. Yeah. Like like in in fact, honestly, by RE five, I think it's a good thing Wesker kinda of took a bow out. Because he no longer cared about Umbrella or the virus. He was, like, messing around with, uh, he had, what, Ada collect for him, Las Plagas, and he was trying to collect samples of Ouroboros. He was, like, collecting all the viruses up to that point, and, you know. They could be used as, like, a weapon to change the entire world. He had, that dude had some grand vision, I, he I really say. did. I'm sorry about the audio, but yeah. like, I thought I got it. But anyway, Claire's screwed. <laughs> so let's just uh, get out of here. I know I'm going to take a nausea. Oh no, the gameplay? No! It didn't... It didn't do that in the gameplay. Well, if we can get maybe through... It's maybe it's just because there were so many cop. I mean, cops. I mean, cops. We were just now reading so Axe Cops. Yeah, Axe Cops. And one of them, like, became a zombie cop, so I kind of... There were so many zombies on screen, maybe that was it. Well, if we can get past the first video, yeah. we can save and I will fix things. It really, it really looks like Claire just narrowly escaped, and thank God there just happened to be a gun in a dead man's hand next to her. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and dead on aim. Oh, by the way, this is Steve, quite possibly the pussiest uh, male character in survival horror ever. You know, if there was one thing, one thing I could take out of Resident Evil, Veronica, it's him. Honestly, I'd rather Claire be by herself during this whole entire first half of the game. Nobody likes this guy. Nobody. Actually, um, the other day, my friend uh, Jessica and I were talking about RE and Fatal Frame. Yeah? And she brought up, like how she wanted Steve and Claire to... She was like, I was so sad when Steve died. I wanted them to get together as a couple. And I was like, you do realize Steve sucks, don't you? Steve is a complete idiot. And she goes, oh, but I loved him. And I was like, well, I can't... You loved him for what? I can't, you know, I, I just thought he was annoying, but I won't I won't make fun of you for... 
No, no, you should. You should. I have a hard time making fun of lady friends. I know, I know, I just so, do. So, in, in this scene, I kind of turned it down because we don't hear the skipping audio like yeah. in Mega Man Legends. And besides, Steve's voice sucks anyway. Yeah, basically, he's just like, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were a human being. Uh, anyway, we should split up. See you, sweet cheeks. <laughs> yeah. That's literally what Try, happened Trying to put on a show, like, you know, trying to act out in front of Claire. And in reality, I mean, it's like, you instantly know this guy's just an insecure goober. <laughs> uh, absolutely. <laughs> so, this is where they decided they need to look, look at this. This. Seriously. I don't want you following me, lady. Yeah, he's younger than her. <laughs> you only slow me down. You only slow me down. down. <laughs> Honestly, seriously, if I was in this kind of situation and I found another human being who seemed at least as nice as Claire, I'd be like, yes, please join me. We might be able to survive together. I mean, I'm not just saying that because no, make Claire's sure kind of hot. you go back behind but... the, the truck and get 15 more ammo. Oh, is it back here? Yeah. Okay. Right here. Hey, hold on just a second. I'm, I'm going to try something like fix the lag. I'm going to pause the emulator. Okay. And then I'm going to unpause the emulator. And maybe that fixes it. How? I don't know. Well, click me back on. Did I not? <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, I might need to do that. There. Nope, didn't do it. I think it's just the, the emulator is going to performance it. Well, look, when I was testing this, it wasn't stuttering. But did you record? That always seems to be a Trump factor, dude. <laughs> yeah. You might. It probably does work. It just that you didn't have it on when you were recording. All right, well, well, you, we'll you got, you got like, when you were test playing when I first came back in, you had already gotten to, like, this part right here, and it was playing just fine. Did you not notice anything? Any I other skipped problem? all the cutscenes. Oh, I skipped okay. them all. Oh, hey, now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right on the shoulder blades. And Claire's affected. Way to go. Yep, that's so, it. Game, game over. <laughs> I, I, I guess the it'll be like extreme mode where you get one hit and you just well, then die. you would never be able to eat, beat any Resident Evil game ever. Yeah. Uh, well, except for that, at least that one guy who on YouTube played through all of Resident You're, Evil three without now, taking a single hit, even from Nemesis, uh, and how he did it. I don't know, but he is the master. Alright, so there's 15 bullets right there. If you go up the steps in the back side of the room towards the camera, there's you can herb. get an herb. Yeah. Cool. Let's just go ahead and see. Oh, map. Nah. I, I doubt I'll need it, but just in case. Uh, there's still I, a zombie I'm, alive. By I'm quite the way. familiar with Code Veronica, so. As am I. I like how the. I like how the camera kind of changes with you. It kind of uh, it kind of scrolls along instead of like just. Well, the thing is, this this game doesn't use pre-rendered backgrounds, but this is a next-gen console. Per, you know, uh, it's a step up from the PlayStation One, right. so it can actually kind of handle the graphics. Yeah. So you can have stuff that looks almost as good as pre-rendered backgrounds, but it still be in a 3D environment. So while it still looks like it has kind of fixed camera angles, Jeez. the camera will kind of follow you. Aiming down at... Oh, he, the, like both those zombies were shamming. <laughs> those <laughs> shamming zombies. I, I kind of like that. I mean, I don't think zombies would be able to actually, you know, be smart enough to think about tricking you, but... This... This is really about... A, I didn't get much farther than this in my Resident Evil co-Veronica fanfic, where I was just, like, <laughs> novelizing yeah. the game. You know, I put it up at the mag once, remember it? Yeah. But I kind of like describe the events like this reading this diary, I pretty much put down the exact words, and uh, I kind of describe, you know, how the zombies, like, you know, kind of got the jump on Claire, pretty much exact. The thing is, it's really worth coming down here because you can get a, uh, a yeah. weapon that does real well that can actually target more than one enemy. But the problem with it is it takes up two item spaces, and you already start off stunted minus two that you get later in the game. Basically, it's kind of like Chris in RE1. Yep. This must be May of 1998, because if it was written recently... Well, it couldn't, because it's like, in the intro, it was this, when Claire got in, you know, captured in Paris... It was three months after the raccoon incident, which was September. So if it was talking about May of next year, that'd be impossible. Unless no. she actually 
spent like five months unconscious right. in the prison cell. When you grab these bullets, you will be assaulted by three zombies from three different directions. I got this. You got this? I got this. I'm not saying I won't take a hit, but I got it. All right, get in that corner. All, All right. right, here we go. The MP10 or MP100. I wonder, like, uh, how they're parroting, like, if that if that's parroting like a real gun, the word of one. Uh, they do because remember that uh, the AK47 is the AK74. So I like you yeah. just. Yeah. Uh, they did that in Goldeneye too. The, they had the AK47. They called it the AK74. What was like? What was yeah, really? But the, it looked just like. What was really the RCP90, for instance? Uh, no, no, the K. Actually, I think no, the, RCP... the, the AK47 was like the KC9 or something. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never understood where that new zombie came from. Yeah, meanwhile. he's there every time, but we never have to come back in this building for the yeah, rest of so the game. Yeah, so screw it. So there's no point in waiting. Save ammo. Hey, that's, isn't that novel? Oh, wait, concept? Uh, go that way. More herbs, ain't there? Yep. Yep. Good. What a novel concept, you know. Here's a concept that works. 50 other rappers emerge. Keep thinking it's 50 million other white rappers emerge, but no matter how many fish in the sea. It'll be so oh, empty. you know what? We should have probably just saved. I think the next save point we run across is gonna have like a roll of ink ribbons, but it doesn't matter because we're about to go inside that place that has you put all your metallic items yeah. in it. You know, if these are the Cerberus dogs, why are they even biding their time with her? That, no, they're definitely the Cerberus dogs. <laughs> I, I, I love textures. Hey, I hey. the textures. Oh god! It's oh like god. originally yeah. the like most of him was just kind of like a flamboyant pink. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, it was kind of went into line like an Easter yellow. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it was like looking into a man made entirely of prisms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to describe that shit that we saw. <laughs> all right, so all right, we so got some zombies up in here. Yeah, up in here. Y'all gonna make me bust a cap. Actually, that almost would kind of fit into the theme of the original song. <laughs> uh, why do I keep doing that? Because I think you were hitting start in uh, Survivor. <laughs> uh, it totally it beat against the cage. The cage is like, probably in real life, uh, at least four feet away from her. Now, SK thinks... That the knife has value in this game. You don't remember it? What, hey, what is... And what I, is... I, I always felt, no matter how many times I played through this, during the first, like, hour or so, I always felt insecure about ammo. What are you talking about? You've got a crap ton right now. Trust me, it goes farther... It doesn't go as long as you think. But yeah, sorry about the stuttering, guys. I'll make sure that we get it fixed in stutter, the next video. Stutter, 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 stutter. Oh, God, I thought you were about to quote The Sixth Sense. I was like, no, I'll hear no M. Night Shyamalan, stuttering period. Stuttering Stanley! The stuttering. Sixth Sense wasn't even that good. That was a stupid plot twist. It left so many... What are you so talking many... about? It made me jizz in my pants. <laughs> jizz in my pants. I mean... M. Night Shyamalan was never really that good. Ever. Did you leave the lighter in your inventory? I sure did. You're still gonna have to leave and come back. Can but I just uh, press this button right here and it return to normal? Okay. It'd be nice if the shut if only the shutters holding the zombies were closed. But huh. anyway. I just like Claire's outfit better in this one. I just, I know. Now she don't would, worry about picking up anything in here. I know she was taking like a freak trip across, you know, the states to find Chris in Raccoon City, and it was probably a fairly hot fall night, and she had to wear the hiney butt shorts. But something about them just get on my nerves. The hiney butt shorts. Well, she was wearing like what? She looks more stylish right here, I guess. She was wearing like leggings and stuff. Well. Like, Actually, was, no. Her legs were totally bare. No. Are you talking about Jill from RE3? She was wearing like a 
Maser. Freaking, freaking like nylon skirt. Be sure to verify the account of the following facility access application form. Paul Steiner. Hey, there's actually a dude uh, at the place I work now called Paul Steiner. That's his name. Uh oh. <laughs> it's real. Dude, I also <laughs> used to work with a guy at Albemarle called uh, Chris Chambers. Oh, really? Yeah, Chris's first name, Rebecca's last name, and he has the precise name of Chris Chambers from Stand By Me. <laughs> oh, man. He was also known for complaining all the time. <laughs> Everybody knows one of those guys. <laughs> New product sample. Oh, yeah, the TG1. It's like metal substitute or something so it won't set off the detectors or some bullcrap. I wonder what ever happened to Rebecca. Dude, after RE1, she decided, screw this. This is not for me. Yeah. I'm done. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I, t I would like to see her again, but I understand. So, so yeah, this uh, is Steve. Here, crit, or Steve here is typing away at the computer looking at the database for an umbrella or somewhere. Finds out that Chris is her brother. You mean my brother? Actually. In a badass pair of siblings, if I may I think that, I don't think this is skipping. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. No, it's skipping. What? Yeah, a little bit. The tapping sounds seem to be out of sync with... So, Umbrella's keeping tabs on him. Honestly, who wouldn't have assumed that by now? With the umbrella Chris is going out blabbing it in Europe right now. <laughs> That's true. Why don't you send your brother to the coordinates and ask him to come now? He's basically running around all of Europe shouting to the heavens that Umbrella, you know, is a criminal organization. So, basically, you get to see the emo side of Steve here because he's sarcastically says, why don't you give him the coordinates to come help us? And Claire's and like, good sure, idea. I'll do that. And he, goes, and then, he won't help. <laughs> I was just kidding. You'll just end up disappointed if you were at the bed. I swear. I swear to freaking get the baby powder up for that guy, you know? <laughs> I agree, Claire. You know what? If he didn't have a voice actor, it would have been like, Squall? <laughs> All right, so here's some more ink ribbons. Cool. Um... We're and you know what? You just happen to have to like look inside this desk, and this is vitally important. Uh, there's also a document if you want to read it by the. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, hey, give me the ink ribbons. Uh, there you go. Yeah, it's, it's a full roll. Mm, no, it's just standing out, but apparently uh -oh. it's not something you can actually read. I don't well, remember that. Well, we're about. No, we got seven minutes. We can keep going. Won. Well, we can't actually open the door all the way because of. Debris. Like crates, and we actually do not come in from the other side for a long time. No, Debris. Actually, by the time you get back there, can't you get the like the three round burst pistol? Yeah, that's way later. I just, oh. I couldn't, I couldn't get enough control over that. What to are find you talking it about? It. If you tap it, you only shoot one bullet at a time, just like a regular pistol. So it's basically a regular pistol, with if you hold it, it shoots three rounds. Well, guess what? I don't feel like it. How about that? Well, you, you're you're dumb. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, okay, so we've got the the metallic emblem there. Oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, we had to uh, scan it and get a um. Oh. Uh, well, we didn't we didn't have to. I, I take it back. We, like we can just do it when we come back. Sorry. Right. Yeah. Which is why you don't pick up the first aid spray and the two freaking grenade round types. We really don't need anything but the guns right now, because we're going to, like, come right back. Right. Well, then why'd you take the knife? Uh, just in case I'm such a poor aim, I need to resort to the knife. Oh, man. Hey, dude, it's been a, it's been a few years. I'm just being cautious. Uh, uh, I, you play the Evil game. See, when's the last time I played this? I, I'm pretty sure I played this for probably the past two years. Last decade for me. Really? Yep. It's well, a shame. I don't know. Somehow, it doesn't feel like there was that... Well, when you look at it literally, there wasn't that much time between RE1 right, and Cobra Veronica. Alright, there's gonna be an explosive barrel here. Yeah, if right. Get it. I remember that. Except. I kinda gotta worry about. Oh, uh, you blew it! No, you didn't. You blew it! Oh my gosh, that one's fast. 
Uh, you blew it! Wait, I can do this. Check it out. Oh my god, this... And I like how it never... The fireballs never seem to hit you. Spaghetti-o. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, we'll take this fire extinguisher for later. Actually, you know what? No. I'm not messing with that. Remember, I think ultimately it's just to get you the magnum for Chris, and you find like 12 bullets total. And the magnum sucks in this game. I'm not gonna lie. It sucks. It's retarded. Yeah, uh... So, I'm not even gonna bother. Padlock key. Oh, oh yeah, that's... so they had a guillotine here. Well, yeah, you know, to execute prisoners and then experiment on them. Or experiment on them and then execute them. Of course. Of course! <laughs> I instantly... Wait, where did these guys come from? You didn't kill I thought them. I killed them with... No, oh, well... There was one that you did not... There was two that he did not. I did not. Why do I keep doing that? I did not. Hi, Mark. Alright, so you see players' data... Clear, you mean? Clear. <laughs> Later, clear. Now, um, I don't know how to save state in the simulator, so we might need to find the save point before we quit. Yes. And I'll I'll we, go back. We like, got three minutes to do so before we have to have to I like thought you were a zombie. And there's a Cerberus. <laughs> a hot zombie, but a zombie. <laughs> but a zombie that. nonetheless. Oh, so, uh, if y'all don't know, look up Resident Evil Cobranca the Flash animation on YouTube. It's, it's pretty funny. Fine. It's funny. Legendary fun. Frog. Unfortunately, they didn't really, they didn't really continue it after that first part. But it's so good. Alright. Uh, I think there's a zombie, like, right behind the other side of the crash truck, so we'll just... Now, the... Now, you sure you don't want to... Because the, the fire extinguishers you... Blah! The fire extinguisher is used in this room. You it don't, is? Yeah. It's used to put out the fire on the helicopter. Derp, derp, to derp. No, you get the magnum for Chris in Antarctica. I know, but I thought you had to, like, carry the fire extinguisher, no. extinguisher with you to put out a fire or something no. so we could get access to it. Uh, so, no. Somehow. Use the fire extinguisher here. Well, shortcut. Yep, saves us some tizzity time. Dog. So what if you just didn't happen to notice the little blue power switch on the side? You would be wondering, how do I put out this fire? Well, I guess you better be more observant. I guess so. Oh! He doesn't say you need to be more observant! <laughs> I like how the dogs are just laying down, resting. Well, what else would, would you do? And they kind of lazily get up. It's like, oh, a human, um... All right, yeah, let, yeah all let's chase right. it. Well, they are dead. Come on. By the way, somebody... Ah! <laughs> wow! <laughs> base! Nice. Touch base! Base! See, look, without using the, uh, oh, damn it, without using the M100s, which I really want to save for later. Well, maybe that's why you're running out of handgun bullets so fast. You're not relying on the M100. Six swipes, man. Yeah, that's acceptable. Okay, I better... Yeah, you're not yeah. taking out two, buddy. Oh, you want some more? I don't have good perspective there if I want to use a knife. And actually, the way he's reaching, reaching out, I'm not comfortable with trying he's to... He's also on fire. I wonder if it does extra damage. Zombie Look. is on fire. Would you mind, like, turning a little bit to the right instead of shooting the wall? I would, actually. I have a grudge against the wall, is that okay? Yeah, it was the floor in uh, Survivor. <laughs> Here it's walls. 
you know, honestly, I think I tried to do like a run through of Resident Evil 4 once where I just worried about accuracy, just trying to improve it, and I think I still only got like a 80 something percent. Dude, that's good. No, that's good. Actively concentrating on it, though, yeah. the exclusion of everything no, else. Absolutely. If you're concentrating and you get 88% of your shots in, that's good. Well, I said 80 something. It, it could have been 80. To 89 for all that. It could have just been the low, low end. That's, okay, well, well. I genuinely oh, think that's good. Okay, thank you. I don't feel so bad now. Well, good. You shouldn't. All right, we'll 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 just go down here and save right quick. Right. We, we just hit the, the 30 mark. And I promise I'll do my best to try to get these freaking a... jerky issues. No, there's nothing in there. Okay. You cockroaches. <laughs> Notice that's my first observation. <laughs> right. They, uh... Oh, you don't have them, Driven. You put them up. You... Well, you know, there's no need for them to watch us going back. Right, so, alright. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll catch we'll... you back next time. Later, people! Yeah.